what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? A 17-year-old Utah teenager has been accused of killing his drug dealer friend after discovering that the marijuana he thought he was purchasing was swapped for kitchen spices. What kind of kitchen spices, one might ask? Paprika, salt, and pepper. So how do we get here? These guys are on the phone, they're texting back and forth about the transaction. The guy, Seth Carreras, who is the buyer, shows up. He's outside checking it out. He gives it to, he gives the money to the other guy, the drug dealer's girlfriend, the drug dealer named Hunter Woodson. Gives the money to her for the purchase, $121. That's what a life costs now, $121. He's checking it out. He becomes suspicious. So he getting riled up. So the girlfriend shoot in the house with the money real quick and tell Hunter what's going on. They run to the back room to try to hide. The guy comes in and starts shooting. This is the girlfriend's account. The guy comes in, starts shooting, popping off several shots. He gun dude down and then he stands over him and finishes him off. The girlfriend is very, very lucky to be alive because y'all know how this go. You see, the drug game is really one of the worst illegal games to ever be in because the rules don't apply. There are no rules. There's a certain mentality that come with selling drugs and buying drugs. It's really a free for all. It's really a doggy dog. It's the strongest survive, man. People don't give a damn and they will kill you over a single rock. They will take your life. They will kill you, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, whatever, your mama, your daddy, your sisters, your brothers, your cousins, your uncles, your nieces, your nephews. They'll kill your dog. They'll kill everybody in the house over a deal went bad. I mean, they walk away with no money and kill everybody. That's that drug dealer mentality. So that's just a bad look overall. I know a number of people who have been killed, who was totally innocent during either a drug transaction gone bad or they're looking for the drugs. They come in the house looking for it. You happen to be in the house. Oh, sorry. They're not going to say, excuse me, can you move out the way of you know, go ahead and take off right now. I got to kill your friend. I need to kill your boyfriend. Nope. They're going to kill you and they're killing your boyfriend. They're not leaving any witnesses. That's just the mentality. It's a very, very reckless mentality. So you got to try to avoid putting yourself in these type of situations. I know a few girls who got killed because their boyfriends were drug dealers. And either the killers was looking for the drugs or the killers thought that who was driving that car was their intended target. And it was the girlfriend or the wife. And they got it, killed him. And I, I, I know these type of cases from Houston to Chicago. I, I know people that's been killed for those reasons, you know, just being involved and being around, being in that mix. And then I know people who have been killed trying to buy some weed. I'm talking about a couple hundred dollars worth of weed, $400 worth of weed. 
And these fools, all, all the while, in their mind, they're thinking Jack. They want to jack them for $400. So they kill you and whoever with you, whoever came over there with you. They killing everything. So you take a big gamble in that game. It's a big gamble. Not saying that that's going to happen every time, but that's just a big gamble. Gamble I wouldn't be willing to take. This dude, Hunter Woodson, was a class A dummy. This fool put propica, salt, and pepper in a rag and taped it up real tight and thought it was going to pass for marijuana. What happened to oregano? I mean, at least it looks like weed. Both of these dudes, they're class A dummies. The, the girlfriend of class A dummy too because she knew exactly what the play was the whole time. She may, may have even put them up to it. That's cold-blooded, man. Dude, dumb for throwing his, killing a man, throwing his life away over $121. This fool, dumb for trying to, for risking his life over a hundred and twenty one dollars oh man give me a break man when will it end the old bait and switch too many people that went down on that one so many things went wrong with this also this fool showed a person that he intended on jacking where he lived. And not only showed him where he lived, but tried to jack him at his own house. This fool robs a person at his house. And it's hard to find dummies who are dumber than that. I'm gonna leave y'all with this. You want to play that game, be very, very careful. That bait and switch game. You want to sell somebody some fake dope? You better be very, very careful. Because either way it go, whether you think you're eight and you can handle who it is that you're trying to jack and you're going to get them, you're going to come out on top, whatever. That's a life risking move. And if you come out on the other end, you can count your blessings if you just get beat up. Oftentimes, you're going to end up in a box. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.